Hi, welcome to this video on expanding square brackets. Uh, if you want to pause the video now and take down these four notes, um, that's what's important, um, and then you can spend the time focusing on the math. Right, so I'm assuming you've done that, and we're going to carry on. So, expanding square brackets. Now, when, when we talk about square brackets, we don't mean that they're actually square shaped, right? That's, that has nothing to do with it. What we're actually referring to is this little sign here, okay? Brackets raised to the power of 2. In other words, we're squaring the brackets. And that's pretty much the same as anything raised to the power of 2. 3 to the power of 2, 9 to the power of 2, they all mean whatever is squared is simply multiplied by itself twice. Okay? Now, with numbers such as these, I mean, that's fine, I can get 9, I can get 81, like that. Um, but when I'm faced with algebra, I have to look at it in, and, and work with it in a slightly different way, because I'm obviously not going to get out an exact answer, because I've got a variable here. Um, but what that actually means, just as I had 3 squared is 3 times 3, if this is x plus 2 squared, well that's the same as x plus 2 times x plus 2. And if you haven't expanded brackets before, please pause the video um, and load up perhaps my video on expanding, uh, just on expanding double brackets, and you can um, follow that on how to expand this. Um, but if I go through this quickly, I just do the smiley face method, I do x times x, which gives me x squared. I do 2 times 2, which gives me 4. 2 times x gives me 2x, and x times 2 gives me 2x. Alright, so those will combine and give me 4x. That's my x squared, and that is a positive 4 there. Okay, pretty simple. Alright. Uh, in this one here, I can do exactly the same thing. I can expand this, so uh, that's x minus 3 x minus 3, and again, use my smiley face method, x times x is x squared, minus 3 plus minus 3 is positive 9, please bear in mind, I'm paying attention to my negatives here, so that's why I get a positive there, <clears throat> and then negative 3 times x is going to give me negative 3x, and x times negative 3 is also going to give me a negative 3x, alright, so if I combine my like terms, I would again, that's a negative 3 there, okay? So you've got to bear in mind the negatives there. So x times x is giving me x squared. Um, th negative 3x and negative 3x is negative 6x, and that's a positive 9 there. Right, now having done this, there is a shortcut. And I want to teach you the shortcut because um, if you ever come across um, solving by completing the square, when you're looking at, at quadratics, um, knowing the shortcut will help you to do that. Right, so from here, what you've noticed, and I'm assuming you notice, is that on both occasions I end up with the same answer, 2x and 2x, negative 3x and negative 3x. And that will actually happen every single time you expand square brackets. These two values here will be exactly the same. So we can use that to create a kind of shortcut. To get this x squared value, I simply square the x. So I square the first. Okay, so square the first. Okay. To get the full value, I simply square the two, so I square the last. And the way I got 2x is I simply went 2 times x, so, or x times 2, so x times 2, and I got two of them. So I can say, well, I'll have twice, twice, the product Of the two. All right? So first we square the last, and we square the first, square the last, and twice the product of the two. All right, now I'll explain this, we'll go through it here. So if I wanted to expand this, I would square the first, so I get x squared. I'd square the last, so negative 3 times negative 3 is going to give me positive 9. And then I twice the product of the two. Now the product means I multiply them together, so I end up with negative 3x. And I double that, negative 6x. Right? And that will work every single time. But it is important that you know, if you forget it for some reason, or this doesn't quite make sense to you, then you need to know how to expand squared brackets. All right, we'll do one more, and then I've got a few problems for you to do. All right, I'll leave that up there, actually. <clears throat> Please at any time, if you want to pause and rewind, if you haven't understood what I said, or um, you, aren't, you haven't followed it, 
um, or you want to copy down some of the work that's on your piece, feel free to pause and rewind. Um, I work on that. All right, so uh, let's do this. Um, let's have 3x squared plus, I oh, know it's like a difficult, minus, uh, no, not 7, that'd be horrible, uh, minus 5, there we go, all squared. All right, fantastic. So 3x minus 5, 3x minus 5 all squared. So I've got, I'm going to, we'll look at this, we'll look at this last and see if it works. So I'm just going to rewrite this out, minus 5. Minus 5. Um, in fact, if some of you want to see if it works now, then you can double check me at the end. Um, Alright, so I'm going to just do my smiley face method. We'll do an unusual different colours. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Negative 5 times negative 5 is plus 25. Now I'm going to do negative 5 times 3x is going to give me negative 15x. And 3x times negative 5 is negative 15 and 51. Negative 15x as well. Alright, if I collect my like terms, I end up with 9x squared minus 30x plus 25. Okay, and let's check. Square the first, 9x squared. Square the last, positive 25. Twice the product of the two, 3x times negative 5 gives me negative 15x, double that, negative 30x. All right, so the shortcut does work there. All right, uh, please make sure that you know that that shortcut will only work when you're squaring the brackets. It won't work when you're um, expanding normal brackets. All right, so here we have three questions for you to do at home. Have a look at them, uh, pause the video, and then I will go through the answers and show them to you. All right, so assuming you've paused it and you've completed all three, here are the answers. Right, so question one, x plus one squared, relatively easy, in fact probably the easiest one you can get. There you go. Um, I haven't used the um, square the first, square the last, twice, twice the product of the two shortcut, I've expanded it fully. So um, if you did that and didn't show the working, that's okay, just check that your answer is correct. Right, question two, again I've fully expanded. And then question three, there we go. Alright, thanks very much, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you're able to expand square brackets. That's it for me, cheers.